The Highwayman by Alfred Noyes. The wind was a torrent of darkness among the gusty trees. The moon was a ghostly gallon tossed upon cloudy seas. The road was a ribbon of moonlight over the purple moor, and the highwayman came riding, riding, riding. The highwayman came riding up to the old inn door. And dark in the dark old inn yard, a stable wicked creaked, where Tim the ostler listened. His face was white and peaked. His eyes were hollows of madness, his hair like moldy hay. But he loved the landlord's daughter, the landlord's red-lipped daughter. Dumb as a dog, he listened, and he heard the robber say, One kiss, my bonnie sweetheart, I'm not for a prize tonight, but I shall be back with the yellow gold before the morning light. Yet if they press me sharply and harry through the day, then look for me by moonlight, watch for me by moonlight, I'll come to thee by moonlight, though hell should bar the way. Over the cobbles he clattered and clashed in the darkened yard, and he tapped with his whip on the shutters, but all was locked and barred. He whistled a tune to the window, and who should be waiting there but the landlord's black-eyed daughter, Bess the landlord's daughter, plaiting a dark red love knot into her long black hair. He did not come in the dawning, he did not come at noon, and out of the old ta tawny sunset before the rise of the moon. When the road was a gypsy's ribbon, looping the purple moor, a red coat troop came marching, marching, marching. King George's men came marching up to the old end door. They said no word to the landlord. They drank his ale instead. But they gagged his daughter and bound her to the foot of her narrow bed. Two of them knelt at her casement with muskets at their sides. There was death at every window and hell at one dark window. For best could see through her casement the road that he would ride. She twisted her hands behind her, but all the knots held good. She withered her hands till her fingers were wet with sweat or blood. They stretched and strained in the darkness, and the hours crawled by like years, till now on the stroke of midnight, cold on the stroke of midnight, the tip of one finger touched it, the trigger at least was hers. The tip of one finger touched it, she strove no more for the rest. Up she stood to attention, with a barrel beneath her breast. She would not risk their hearing, she would not strive again, for the road lay bare in the moonlight, blank and bare in the moonlight, and the blood of her veins in the moonlight throbbed to her love's refrain. To light, to light in the frosty silence, to light, to light in the echoing night. Nearer he came and nearer, her face was like a light. Her eyes grew wide for a moment, she drew one last deep breath. Then her finger moved in the moonlight, her musket shattered the moonlight, shattered her breast in the moonlight and warned him with her death. He turned, he speared to the west, he did not know who stood, bowed with her head over the musket, drenched with her own red blood, not till the dawn he heard it, his face grew gray to hear it, how best the landlord's daughter, the landlord's black-eyed daughter, had watched for her love in the moonlight and died in the darkness there. Back he spread like a madman, shrieking a curse to the sky, with the white road smoking behind him and his rapier brandished high. Blood red were his spurs in the golden noon, wine red was his velvet coat. When they shot him down on the highway, down like a dog on the highway, and he lay in his blood on the highway with a bunch of lace at his throat.